for the 30th South African Music Award and was specifically spotlighting the top 10 nominees of the best music video category. It's so great to see South African artists crossing boundaries and doing incredible things. I think the beautiful thing is that we're barely scratching the surface. So much more is going to happen with South African music. So watch out. So, so, so amazing. My first time being nominated for anything when Sarah. Feels good. We worked hard on the video. So I'm glad that people see that it came out very nice and it's nominated. Hopefully we get it. Oh my gosh, it feels really incredible. I wasn't expecting to be nominated really. I, I wasn't looking at being nominated, but it feels really surreal. YouTube obviously were a video platform, so we're always amplifying videos on our platform. Everyone that's focused on growing this music ecosystem, we really just want to support and do what we can. So enjoy, thank you. We're always so creative. We always bring in new flavors and new genres, and it just rocks the whole world, you know? I can't not be proud of it. There's so much diversity. I'm excited for the world to also see that we have so many other different genres as well. Right now, I feel like the music is very genuine. The fact that we can make music in our languages and embrace our culture, and then different people can relate to the sound. That's what matters the most, that's all. We're telling our stories through the words, through our beats. I think it's such an exciting time where South Africa has been working hard at sharing itself with the rest of the world, and now we're finally there on the world stage. A music video I recommend for people to see is probably any DJ slick music video currently. Color grading is on point, quality is on point, and the concepts that they use for the music videos. I would say, AKA. Between Vigi Lab and I want it all, between those two. The one video that everybody should definitely watch is uh, Iplan from uh, Lala Tuxin. The track I think hits hard, especially with artists, because it's a hassle, this game is a hassle. The music video really, really like resonates. You know? I'm gonna do a proper throwback and take it back to CKZ. The video that they did in the stadium with Benny McCarthy, I think that was an iconic moment in South African music just because it was something that was bubbling on the streets already and they merged two worlds, the world of music and the world of football. I'm really gonna have to go with Congratulations by AKA. There's a song about yeah, Shalim Sope and Lebo Matosa. She is literally in her Zulu, you know, situation. Sayakita and the iconic Shalim Sope is there as well. It reminded me of who it is that I am. I'm gonna give you two. Number one, Imani, Words and Mesh Beauty by BSV. Number two, Songa Agenda Bona by Arena Morele. My own song. Never ride, go check it out now, it's on YouTube. Featuring my dad and Tato so yes sir. YouTube has played the biggest role in creating an artist like Gigi Lemayne. I was literally uploading all these really cool covers to some of my favorite artists, rapping to some of my favorite artists, and I would send out the link as a way of promoting myself. Uh, today, I have a podcast, extremely supported by YouTube, and of course, it's become a way to make money. So a huge shout out to YouTube. I always wanted my songs to be on TV or time, but then ever since we got YouTube, we just put your music out there, my song blew up, took off my YouTube. Big shout out YouTube. It's a boy, that's another part. The